I'd like to welcome everybody to the first episode of Drama Alertino. And today, our topic is how Paladins is 100% the biggest ripoff ever of Overwatch. So, it's actually Palawatch, and, and that's not actually what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is a channel called Mess Yourself. And they made a video aptly named the worst Overwatch ripoff game you will ever see. And that's all in capitals. He's got three exclamation marks at the end of it as well. And it's just a fantastic title. You know, you know you, if you get basically a fishing rod, you put some bait on the end of it. It's basically like that, but you're throwing a mouse over the, so the side with some bait on that mouse. So it's called something called clickbait. I don't know if you've heard it. I don't normally do these sort of drama react videos. But this one is actually a bit of a special case, and um, it's not because I want to defend Paladins. And I think that people can make Overwatch vs Paladins videos and Paladins vs Overwatch videos, and that is a fucking gold mine. And I've even dipped my toes into that gold mine, and you can see my videos as well. Like it's like Paladins vs Overwatch. Why I prefer Paladins. I'd like to say that my videos are pretty unbiased, and I like both Overwatch and Paladins, it's just that I slightly prefer Paladins. That's not that's not the case, there are good videos as well that are critical on the side of Paladins, and even ones that draw some comparisons, and you know, that's fine on both games and how they're similar. Video Game Donkey's video is hilarious, and also Alpha Red is pretty funny as well, like those were good videos. The problem with Mess Yourself, and it's not just asking people to let's try and hit 10,000 likes in the description, well, the biggest thing about Mess Yourself, um, like, I normally think, right, if you play video games and you're gonna make a video about a game, like, the, the idea is you play that video game before you make the video and make your opinions, especially if you're, like, putting in capital letters the worst Overwatch ripoff game you will ever see. I mean, if I was playing Call of Duty and I wanted to make a comparison video to Battlefield and I said, the worst Call of Duty ripoff game you'll ever see, and I was talking about Battlefield 4, whatever, I would think that I'd be playing both games, both COD whatever and Battlefield 4 or whatever. Like, I, I, I expect that I'd play both those games, to, you know, so you get some idea, and, and like, I'd actually have an idea about what I'm talking about. But what, what, what this uh, mess yourself did, he, he basically went through each, cha each champion that he had unlocked, because obviously some of them behind the paywall, and sort of gave why they were copies, and and if you don't believe me about him not playing a game, this is his account, xmess yourself, that he was playing on that video. And if you can see, he's got zero global wins and losses, and a global KDA of zero zero zero, and no games recorded. He did, however, get to level two. He made it through the tutorial, so good job on that one, mate. But he has never played a match of Paladins. I mean. He's made a video about the game and basically slagging it off. Oh, the payload, it's just like Overwatch, pretty much. Even the goddamn music is goddamn Overwatch, all right? Listen to this god. If you haven't actually fucking played the game, then uh, it's, yeah, like, what What are you doing? And hey, he, he missed a gold mine at the moment. You could say, look at this character, me. Look, she throws throwing knives. Look at Genji, he throws throwing knives. And he does a slash, and Maeve has a slash. Maeve has a double jump, Genji has a double jump. Uh, I mean, Maeve does have other abilities, like the Midnight, where you blind all your enemies, and has that reset of your abilities as well, the Q. I mean, he missed that one, he missed the gold mine. Like, I get that like, this guy is trying to make a funny video and joke, and one of the things as well, like, he's he's put his video as Overwatch. It doesn't have one second of Overwatch footage, but he's linked the game as Overwatch. So, basically, this is probably going to be picked up by all the people from the Overwatch crowd, mostly. And he hasn't actually linked it as Paladins. Like, he doesn't say originally he is Paladins. He doesn't say that. But what's, what's annoying about this is this dude has 2.5 million subscribers and so far has got like 320,000 views and people are gonna see this and be like oh yeah what a copy oh my god <sighs> like he hasn't played the game he hasn't played it like if he had played it and he thought it was shit then that would be fine like if you think a game's shit that's fine that's your opinion but if you've not actually fucking played it then what are you doing talking about it <laughs> why you what like what are you doing what? You, you're apparently like a gaming channel as well. You do sort of loads of games. And then you don't fucking play the game. 
I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. I mean, apparently funny moments as well. I sometimes use capital letters if I think this is a video I want to push. But his whole channel is capital letters as well. But I don't want, I don't want to make a strawman of this dude. He looks like a normal guy. I'm not going to insult him. And, you know, he's just making his way, making a living off of YouTube. But at the same time, like, there's like a sort of in integrity thing. Like, if you're making a video, calling it out for being a copy or being shit or being whatever, then actually play the fucking game. That's all I'm trying to say here. That's why I'm so triggered. If you make a video about something, play it first. Basically, this dude is just taking advantage of the search results of Overwatch vs. Paladins, Paladins vs. Overwatch, and the Paladins Overwatch copy sort of like craze, like people are like... If you put that in a video, you're gonna have a mega fight in the comments. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna get millions of comments. This guy's got 2,264 comments already. I'm, al I'm also one of the fucking idiots that's posted a comment on this video because I'm, I, I am an idiot. I shouldn't be posting on this video because I don't think it really deserves the, the views. I've watched the whole thing as well. I don't think it deserves watch time because that's gonna put it up the rankings. But, like I said, it's like, it's like a fucking war zone every time you talk about Overwatch vs. Paladins. Even if you just post Paladins videos that say, like, you, you get the, the Overwatch crowd, the very small percentage, I'd like to say, of players of Overwatch that throw in all the crap like, ah, oh, this is a copy of, of, the, of Overwatch, this is a copy. And then you also get the guys that come in and say, oh no, this is a copy of Team Fortress 2. And Overwatch should go back, go to hell because it is Team Fortress 2. And then you also get the guys from the Paladins community that are like, well, actually Paladins was in development way before Overwatch and it is 100% original. Every game up to this point is basically standing on the shoulders of every other game that's been made before it. Like, no game is not influenced by what's come before it. No book is not influenced before with novels that came before it. No film is standalone out there on its own. It's, it's based on films that have already been made. Even the most experimental films have some elements that you take from old films or old books or whatever. It's the same with video games. This is the whole, like, LOL versus Dota thing, and it is, it is pretty ridiculous. And I think that if you're going to make a video and you're going to take advantage of the comments, you've got to at least have some sense and some sort of opinion that can be backed up by something. But this mess yourself, he hasn't even fucking played the game. He went into the fucking shooting range. If I was going to say one bad thing about Paladins, it'd be that the shooting range is a pile of wank. And also, the tutorial is also pretty bad. He didn't actually pick up on how bad those bits were. Like, that would have been a valid opinion. Like, these these elements are shit. It's pretty, it's pretty wank. And, uh, and also, he did sort of miss the, the misstep that a lot of people do. Like, the YouTubers and things in that. The first games you play in Paladins, you play against bots. So, maybe he missed a pitfall by not making a fool of himself saying he was, like, the, the king of Paladins after playing those bots. I just am angry that the guy hasn't played the game. Like, it, I think that is bad. I don't think that's, like... Like, if, if there was some sort of, like, journalistic integrity on YouTube, I know it isn't, it's a big shithole, but if there was even the slightest, you, you play the game before you called it out and, and basically started a wankathon for a fan base and shitting on another game, even though you haven't actually played that game and you've never given it a chance. I just think that's a bit shitty. And even as an Overwatch player, you might look at that and say, yeah, that is a bit shit, he hasn't actually played the game. And and I'm not saying every Overwatch player has to go and play Paladins to actually realize, oh yes, is this good or bad? I'm just saying, if you are gonna like rile up the communities and you're gonna make these accusations, you should probably play it. And I know I've been fucking ranting, but if you don't play a game, then like, if you're going to talk about it, you can't basically review it or bash it or whatever. I mean, actually, this guy does at the end say, well, like, I, I mean, the whole thing's pretty incoherent. He, he basically goes through each character and says what they've copied from Overwatch and what, like, how they're a copy. And then when he sees, like, a, an ability that's different, because every champion has bits and bobs that can be linked to Overwatch and Team Fortress 2 and Dota and LoL, because basically the hero abilities are very similar actually to superhero abilities in comics. Like superheroes have invisibility, they can fly, they can whatever. There's there's like a set amount of superhero abilities. The same way there's the same set amount of abilities in these sort of MOBA-esque games and the shooter MOBA genre. He goes through them 
And it's like, oh my god, this is a copy. Look at this shit when he looks at Fernando with a shield. I mean, a shield, the most original idea and concept ever in a game, an energy shield. I mean, it's never been done before, Overwatch. It's never been done before any game. I mean, surely, it can't be. Ah. And then, and whenever there's a new ability that's a bit different, maybe it's been in other MOBA games, but he doesn't bring that up because I don't know whether he's played Dota and LOL. He just sort of goes, oh, ha ha ha, this is a new ability, ooh, and then goes over it, glosses over it, and then the next is a copy again. And then his, like I said, his end point, his sort of like conclusion is, well, oh my god, this is, a, this is a copy, blah blah blah, my clickbait title, the, the rip, -off ti a rip off game you'll ever see, whatever. And then he's actually, well actually, if you've got no money, then play this game. But he has no right to say that either, because he's not even fucking played it. Like, I mean... He's even advocating playing the game at the end, but he hasn't played the game, so how would he fucking know? Like, I, that's what triggers me. He hasn't actually played the game. Oh man, he's literally just riding the karma train and raking in those views. He's got 312,000 views at the moment, so... And he's used the Overwatch tag. Probably might get a bit more revenue because it's on the Overwatch side. So I, I don't know how much he's got from that. Maybe $312, maybe more, maybe less, because maybe an ad, ad system or... Uh, like, because it's a bigger video, it's picked it up. I don't know if he's getting high revenue. But this guy is making money. These sort of, like, statements he's making about a game that he's never actually played. Uh, you know, whatever. A dr drama. Drama, drama, drama. Ah, oh, man. It's just drama. And, and also, like, if I go back to my videos, so I also put Overwatch on my sombra sort of, like, shit-posting video where I was being sarcastic for the first two minutes, even though a lot of people didn't get the sarcasm. Even when I said, no character has ever done invisibility before Sky in Paladins, when I was talking about Sombra, which is obviously bullshit, because there's been invisibility in games for years, probably in the 90s, or maybe even earlier there was invisibility. I'm not sure when it first came about, it was probably actually a rendering thing, because you, you need to get the sort of like the sprites, I don't know, the, 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 the way to render yourself as invisible. I remember it being in Halo, I think it was in Halo 1, yeah it was in Halo 1. That was like 2002? I don't know, that game came out in the early 2000s? That was probably the first time I remember invisibility being in the game. Maybe actually Alien vs Predator, was that before Halo? I'm not sure, on the PC. That had invisibility, I think, when you were at the Aliens. That that video got dicked on completely. <laughs> it's got like, at the moment, it's got like 3,000 dislikes and then it's got, it has got more likes than dislikes because obviously my viewer base is Paladins based. So mainly, I don't want there to be a Paladins vs Overwatch in this, this comment section, but I know there will be, but mainly because this guy hasn't played the game and he's just shit-talking it anyway for, for no real reason. He hasn't actually played it. I mean, a rest of the case, he hasn't played the game. Uh, why talk about something you, you haven't actually done? I, d I don't know. I mean, he has a right to, obviously, but it's a bit shitty. That's all I'm saying. And if you're one of these guys that's triggered, you're like an Overwatch guy, you're like, oh my god, I, I love Overwatch. I hate anything that could touch my baby. Just just think about it for a second. Like, Blizzard are a big company. They they want money. High res are a big company, they want money. That's fine. But if you go for one, you're just like fanboying for it and attacking the other one, then, then it's just sort of like you're going to help that company um, just sort of like out of some sort of fanboyism and some sort of consumer conscience. But the thing is like, these games are in competition, so in like general, competition between companies is a good thing. And if, if Overwatch has some competition, maybe they have to get their arse into gear and get more heroes out and spice up the game more faster to compete with Paladins. So it's not a bad thing. Competition isn't a bad thing. In the same way, if Overwatch is getting better, then the Paladins team might have to try and get better as well. So if, if Overwatch ever did have some form of free version or trial where you get to play at one hero. I don't know. I'm not even saying that that should happen, but if that did happen, well, that's competition. So, wow, we, uh, yeah, and they're both, are, in my opinion, they're both very good games. I just prefer Paladins more because it's closer to a MOBA, because there's more MOBA elements like the item buying and stuff than, Paladin, than Overwatch is. And it's a bit faster paced because of the mounts. And also everyone has a movement ability, whereas in Overwatch, there is quite a lot of vertical movement compared to Paladins where there's like double jumps and running at walls and things, which is the cool part, but actually getting into a fight is quite a, a bit of a run. Like you do have forward spawns, but still it's, there's like a bit of downtime if you die, so you don't want to die in a hero. 
And Overwatch has better FPS elements because the hitboxes are tighter. You might think, well, actually, Overwatch has big hitboxes. Well, you haven't played Paladins yet. They're pretty, they're pretty big, so... <laughs> There's that as well, like there's actual good comparisons to make. Like, if you want to make an Overwatch versus Paladins video and you want to rake in all of that viewership, you want to get those dollars, those juicy dollars, then there's loads of things to actually compare and like they, they like legitimate things and your opinion, maybe you do think like one is better than the other, Overwatch is better, Paladins is better, great. If you play both games, great, but this guy hasn't played the game. I'm angry. I'm ranting on for 20 minutes. This is like, I don't know, it's just dumb. It's a, it's a calling out. I'm, I'm throwing down the, the gauntlet. This, this is happening. We're, we're doing it. What do my subscribers think? What do the Overwatch fans think that are going to trickle into this video, maybe? Uh, what does everyone think about the, the drama? The drama, guys. I don't, like, I don't want you to go attack this guy or anything, but I'm just saying it's a little bit shitty. That's all. And just getting the, the, the trigger off of my shoulders. Anyway, I'm Joshino. I'm not going to do the, the end spiel because I don't really know if it's the sort of video, but you can always stick around if you want until you know how you can do that. And I'll see you all next time. Probably some more Paladin stuff, or tomorrow I'm doing a review on the uh, new MSI motherboard. It could be fun. And also I'm going to do a Mave impressions video, and I asked my Discord a lot for some Mave puns, so get ready for some amazing puns that are going to come out. Actually, actually mostly, of, most of them are like... Awful, 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 but we're gonna go for it. Anyway, until next time folks, Joshino.